I thought it would be fun to do a flip through. I haven't done a flip through in a very, very long time in my planner. So I want to go ahead and do that now. Now, if you've been up to date and watching all of my planner videos, just know that there's actually a couple of new ones in here that I have not filmed. So it's going to be new unseen uh, spreads. So we'll dive into all of that. I thought that I would do half year flip through. And even though half year is June, I didn't actually decorate all of June yet, but I feel like there's still enough to kind of go through and do a showcase of everything that I've designed so far. Anyway, so this is the much larger Happy Planner, which I prefer. So let's go ahead and get started into January. So this is the monthly spread. So this was when I was attempting to start stamping. So I've learned that I think I need different kind of ink. So I still haven't got any of that, but I have a bunch of stamps that I want to use. But this turned out okay. At this point, I hadn't really scrapped or planned in a really long time. So I was kind of just trying to get my feet wet and getting back into the game, into the groove. Yeah, so exactly like this spread isn't really like my specific style, but I really love it. I loved all the little washi selections and the little camera and the coffee. I feel like this one was probably the trendiest spread I've ever done. And now we have a classic crafty girl. I, I just think that this is very me and I, I love it. This is my labyrinth spread. And if you watched my planner favorites, I'll link those at the end of this video. Labyrinth came in at number one. So it's just beautiful. And then I love like the little quotes from the movie and the little stamping that I can kind of continue to do. It's only forever. It's not long at all. Okay, and then Frasier, I absolutely, love this spread. Frasier is one of my top three favorite TV shows. And when I came up with this concept, I felt like this made complete sense to me because this is my favorite part. One of my favorite parts in Frasier, obviously the characters and how funny it is, but I love the intro of the Seattle skyline. So that one was really special to me. And then this is Clue. And I brought in the washi to like mimic the characters, plum, green, peacock, you know, scarlet, mustard. And then I had like the little movie reel washi, which was really cute. And then like the little players in the game. And then I also brought in the same quotes and I did a quote from like all of my favorites. I'm a senator's wife. That was from Mrs. Peacock. I didn't do it. That was Mr. Green. Uh, Yvette says, you locked me up with that murderer, you idiot. Oh, so funny. And this is one of like my favorite images. I think they're just such a badass crew. I know that sounds crazy, but I just think like, look, like they're just baddies. Look at them. Okay. So let's go into February. I didn't actually decorate the month at a glance because I got these new markers from, let's see. I got them from Amazon. It, they're really really cheap considering the brand of these are super super expensive and look how many colors i got i'll link it down below but these do bleed through so i'm still trying to figure out how to like properly use these and in the month of february i kind of did a window dollar tree window sticker thing and this one was just a dollar tree like card like a birthday card or something like that and i just cut it up and put my favorite image i thought it was really cute and this one i really liked it was really fun again these are dollar tree window stickers and this is also a dollar tree card i was just kind of uh vibing off of the colors from the card and incorporated this gold which I really love using gold actually in my planner in case you didn't know that. And then here's my March month at a glance. I thought it was really, really pretty. I don't normally mix so many patterns because that's something I have difficulty doing. And so I really loved how different and um, multi patterns and colors that this kind of turned out. 
my little sticker for St. Patty's Day here. And this one wasn't my favorite. Again, I was attempting to do a Dollar Tree card, but I had to cut the top off because there was words on it that I didn't want to use. But I made a mistake by cutting it along with the envelope. I should have kept the envelope intact and then it would have had like an all over border here. So learned my lesson there. And then again with the Dollar Tree window stickers. Now this is more of a springtime Eastery spread. I thought this was really cute. I just love yellow and pink. It's so pretty, such a pretty combo. And these stick amazing, like they just do not come up at all. And then here is just a really simple Valentine's or St. Patty's Day spread. I used the rainbow effect for the washi for obviously the pot of gold. And then I just kind of threw a bunch of Dollar Tree stickers on here. And then again, another Dollar Tree. Wow, then this has been the year of Dollar Tree, but Dollar Tree Easter bunnies, spring bunnies are really, really cute. And it, I remember the washi taking a while for me to kind of come up with, but when I did the blue and the yellow, I thought it was really, really sweet. And I loved how it turned out. And this spread, I wanted it to be so much more. It's kind of like wah wah because this card is so cute. But I can actually remove this card and attempt to do this again like next year. But this card was probably one of the cutest little cards that I've ever seen at Dollar Tree. This is probably one of my favorite month at a glances just because, again, this is Dollar Tree. These are Dollar Tree stickers. It was because of these blue little stars, which I'm still on the hunt for. I'm obsessed with those blue little stars. And I just love how cute this turned out. The top portion is supposed to be representing the sky and the bottom portion is supposed to be representing the earth and the grass. So I thought that was just really cute and really special. And I used another stamp right here to indicate a birthday. I don't think this ever made it on camera, but I did an April showers last year and I wanted to do a video where I was going to, um, try to outdo the spread that I've done before and it just didn't turn out. I, I feel like I didn't outdo myself at all. I think this is kind of really similar to my old April shower spread. So I don't think it just ever made it on camera for that reason. Here's that. And then Jasmine. Jasmine is one of my favorites in terms of the materials that I used. I really love this like little see-through hologram-ish type uh, scrapbook piece of paper. It's really, really special. And I just loved all the patterns and I love the floral. I just was really proud of myself again because I just don't think I'm great at picking combinations like this. I feel like I really do struggle. So I tend to struggle with it and then all of my stuff. Here is Aladdin. I don't even know what to say about Aladdin other than it's probably aesthetically the best spread I've ever done. Uh, I think Labyrinth is obviously my favorite, but I think that this is so beautiful. I don't even know what to say. These are my Dollar Tree little stars. They were kind of hard because I had to use hot glue to put these down because or else they just would not stick with a glue stick. But... I had to add the stars because without them, it just wouldn't have given it the same effect. And the burbs. I love this so much. I think the fire really completes this entire look. This says the Clopex, which is their crazy neighbor in this house here. It says, God, I love this neighborhood. But I don't know that that's what he um, actually said, I think he said, I God, I love this street. So I think I messed up there, but I still really love this spread. Oh my goodness. It's probably going to be one of my favorites for a very, very long time. All right, now we're into May. So this is something you haven't seen because I kind of did this off camera. It's not my best month at a glance. And I did this in the end of last week of July. So I don't really remember what I had going on in May so you really don't see any like actions here but I still want to go back and and fill up my planner because I still like doing that I still love using all the stickers that I buy 
we'll have to use it for something. So I thought this was really pretty. These are all Dollar Tree stickers as well. And I have been waiting to use this bicycle stickers. I did not cut it in half. This is actually how it came in the Dollar Tree sticker package. This was my very first one and I really loved it because this is the signature color for the True Beverly Hills, their tent. So I thought that was really cute and it really made sense. And then all the like palm trees and then the, you know, the tropical leaves, which comes out in their hotel room when they, they're rained out in their camping attempt. But otherwise, I feel like I could have done a much better job in terms of how I write things, how I design each little box. But you're going to see what I'm talking about because I have been trying to improve. So that is coming soon. And then here's my second attempt at True Beverly Hills. I feel like this is definitely more my style. I put it's cookie time, which is that song they sing when they're trying to sell all their cookies because the Red Feathers took over their neighborhood. So they're trying to find an alternative way to sell all their boxes, which is such a good movie. And yeah, so I always love adding the little rhinestones. I feel like it gives it some extra sparkle. And 16 Candles, honestly, probably one of my most creative spreads next to Frasier. But I think what makes it so creative is that I made it one, I wanted it to kind of mimic a uh, like a notebook a binder that like I would pass to my friends back in the day so I kind of just like doodled and doodled in markers because that's how we passed notes was kind of like this it was more early 90s than 80s but that's just kind of what I was going for and then I included the note that's in the movie that Sam fills out so I thought that was really really special and Honestly, some of this even looks like the same handwriting. Like, I did a really good job, I think. Anyway, so I'm really, really proud of this, if you can't tell. So, love the 16 candles down here. And then this is Long Duck Dong's What's Happening Hot Stuff. So I think that's hysterical. Sammy Davis Baker Jr. The grandpa, when he says that, is really funny. All right, so here's a new spread that you haven't seen. I wanted to kind of do an 80s theme. Again, this is a Dollar Tree window stickers and it already had a whole 80s thing going. So I took some Dollar Tree, let me see. I actually used these for the very first time and I spelled out Rad, which is actually one of my favorite 80s movies, but you can't really find it on DVD. And so I put Rad here and then I outlined it in a blue marker and then I just kind of put all of these little stickers all over the place. Again, this was something that I was in the past because I, I planned this at the end of July. So it was hard for me to go back and remember all of the things that I did. So I just kind of guessed just to kind of like play around. I use this as an opportunity to kind of play around with like creating new little boxes, just using a pen and marker. And then we have, I think this is the very last thing to show you, but this is my June month at a glance. I had this little camping sticker set and I wanted to use it. So I went off of that and I pulled in the washi that I thought made the most sense. Now, this is probably more fall than it is June, but it was camping, so I'm kind of okay with it. Yeah. So now I just need to go back and do this week, that, that, that. And then I have to do July, but I will go ahead and show you that I completed August just because I, we're in August right now and I had a lot of things going on. School starting back up on the 16th, so I've been writing all the things I need to do. I'm part of the whole cheer program, so I have to make sure my camera's charged and all of this stuff. All right guys, so that is my flip through. I hope that you enjoyed this video. I'm going to do a complete flip through once we get to December. Now I actually have a different planner for December, but I'm still going to design in this planner as well because I don't mind. I can design in 10 different planners and it makes me completely happy. That's it for this video and I hope that you guys enjoyed and I'll see you next time. Bye.